All right, so it's been a little while since I've shot the PRC. So today I'm going to shoot at 800 yards with and without the muzzle brake. I'm going to try cold ball with muzzle brake. Uh, I'll run out of paint. I don't know whether you can see behind me there on the on the steel, but that's good enough. I'll be able to see where I hit. I'm going to try it with the muzzle brake first. Probably do one or two shots, then muzzle brake. Probably two shots, but without muzzle brake. Sorry at 800 yards and try and work out. I'm guessing it's about 0.3 of a mil low without the brake from previous tests I've sort of done and from mates that have tried the same. So I'm just gonna try it at, yeah, probably seven, 800 yards and we'll just see what happens. And then after that, if anything strange happening, I might just double check my zero with and without the brake. But yeah, this is gonna be a pretty casual video. So we'll see what happens. come up 4.4 mils so these binoculars are still calibrated to my 7 mil rem mag too but from previous checking it looks like it's going to work for both so I'll just run applied ballistics now and we'll see what happens so that's my data so we're up 4.4 mils and the binoculars, which are still calibrated for my 7mm rem mag, also said to come up 4.4, so we could be laughing here. pretty good I should have taken the camera up there but both basically both shots were maybe about a minute apart um, which I'm not too phased about because silly me didn't even double check the parallax which is real smart but anyway so they're both slightly high so for this going to use the thread protector. I'm going to come up another three clicks, so 0.3 of a mil, and see what it does. One, two, three, so we're at 4.8. No, 4.7. Jeez, I'm good at maths today. 4.7 up, and the target is all the way up there. Alright. Atmospherics shouldn't have changed much, so I just want to basically see the difference between the muzzle brake and no muzzle brake at this range, because I haven't done it. Out. Well, I've just reviewed the footage and I definitely hit the chain, so it was a bit high and left, so I don't know. I'll go back to 4.4 and shoot it again. So this is the exact same dial as with the muzzle brake.
So I'm just with that target here. Obviously, I shot the chain off on the first shot without the muzzle brake. The second shot, I just brought it down to the same dial. That there's a second shot without muzzle brake with the same dial as these. So height-wise, we're looking really good. So I'm actually I'm pretty happy with that. I'm probably just going to leave it. I probably could tweak tweak something a little bit to bring it a click down. So those the Leica GeoVid HDB HDBs that I'm using obviously have the inbuilt ballistic calculator and when I hit the range button it gives me a readout of what I need to dial and they're still calibrated for my 7mm rem mag but looking at this I can run between the two pretty accurately out to 800 yards which is pretty awesome so I'm not going to complain about that and it looks like I can run muzzle brake or no muzzle brake and not really be worried too much about point of impact shift what I really wanted to see was basically if I had a deer at three to four hundred yards away and I didn't have the muzzle brake on whether I was going to need to adjust my dial and looking at this I won't need to so that's all that today was really about and that will probably be the end of another video so I'll see you guys next time so I just double checked the range and it was actually 781 and at 781 my app and the binos are both saying to dial 4.3 mils so because I've got my first reading at 784 it's at the point where it's saying to come up another click to 4.4 mils so it just shows how important an accurate range is and my first range wasn't accurate enough so if I'd got the correct range yeah I mean the profile still may be slightly off it might might need to be tweaked slightly but overall I'm pretty happy